Hi guys, my name is Shubhan Garodia, Chemistry Master Teacher at Vedantu. Today we are going to talk about JE Advanced 2022 Paper 1 Chemistry Section Question Number 9. The question is an inorganic chemistry question belonging to molecular orbital theory. He says, if we are overlapping two 2pz orbitals, then which of the following is true? Now, when we overlap 2pz orbitals, we can either get sigma 2pz we can get sigma star 2pz or we can get pi 2pz or we can get pi star 2pz. Now, when we talk about sigma 2pz, please notice it's a head-on collision. Therefore, the atomic axis will be the z-axis here. Right? If we talk about the pi orbitals, these are your pz orbitals but they are going to overlap in which direction they are going to overlap in a perpendicular direction let me call that as x direction so therefore they are overlapping along the x axis having understood this let's start sigma orbital has a total of two nodal planes when we make a sigma bonding orbital we get this diagram isn't it due to increased electron density we can see here that there are two nodal planes passing through two nuclei Mind you, these are atomic nodal planes. These are not molecular nodal planes. They, what is the difference between an atomic nodal plane or a molecular nodal plane? This nodal plane belongs to individual atom. When we say a molecular nodal plane, it should either pass through both the nuclei or none of the nuclei. So sigma 2px has two atomic nodal planes, a total of two atomic nodal planes, correct? Sigma star, as you can see, you will have three nodal planes, but in which the question says has one node in the XZ plane. Guys, this was Z axis, isn't it? This is your Y axis. Where will be the X axis? The X axis will be in this direction. Isn't it? Correct. So if we talk about the XZ plane, these orbitals are actually present in the XZ plane. So do we get any nodal plane in the XZ plane? No, we do get these three nodal planes out of which these two are atomic nodal planes. They are present in which plane? They are present in your XY plane. This is your molecular nodal plane, again present in which plane? X, Y plane. So A was correct and B is definitely incorrect. A was correct, B is definitely incorrect. Then the C part. Pi orbital has one node in a plane which is perpendicular to the molecular axis and goes to the center of the molecule. So when we make pi bonding, we understand that this x z plane so if you call this x this becomes y and this axis becomes z plus z minus z so the x z plane the entire thing is a nodal plane so this is not perpendicular to the molecular axis this contains the molecular axis so this is also wrong now pi star has only one node in the x y plane containing the molecular axis so this was x, isko ab y bhi bol sakte ho, big deal. So this was x, this is z drawn for us, this becomes your y plane. You can see that x, y plane may, yes, there is indeed a nodal plane. There is no electron density in the x, y plane or also in the y, z plane. So it is correct. Hence the answer is a comma d. Now, the answer could very well be only d. Why only d? In compound A, as you can see, there are two atomic nodal planes in option A, sigma orbital. There is no molecular nodal plane. Hence, there is a possibility that the answer could be very well only B, D, not A, D. Thank you so much for joining guys and stay tuned for our next one.